very often in a historic garden, you know, you, you'll never, for example, know the exact right. tree which was planted at this yes. spot. You know, you know Bougainvillea yes. came with the British. British. Too. So you can easily make out, you know, which are the authentic right. species and which are not authentic. What you have to do here in the garden is to capture what we call the spirit of the place. Yeah. You know, this is now a very old um, uh, Kamini, you right. know, Mariah Exotica. Just go close and smell it. Just smell a flower. Very sweet fragrance. Hmm? Yeah. And this was, you know, again from literature we are getting to know that this was probably a Mehtab bag. Huh? A metab means a moonlit garden, moonlit garden. Hmm? which would essentially have had white flowers right. because at night you can only appreciate the white. Right. Yeah. So unfortunately, when you're dealing with gardens of the 17th, 18th century, you don't have photographs, photographs because yeah. photography came yeah. much later. Yeah. But when you're dealing with colonial gardens, of course, uh, like photographs photograph. are your main uh, source. Now, let's just look at that wall there. Hmm? What is that telling you? Can you see the kind of masonry that's yeah. used? Huh? Can you see there's a line almost? It doesn't be a huh? But the minute you peep over, there's this grand, huge well, which is still providing water to all this agriculture. Around. Let's just go out. So this would have been a pleasure pavilion again. So this was the main source of water because you can look at the scale of the well you know and there's still enough water here the fact that it's Green you know light. this lush agriculture oh. hmm. so now imagine you know, the murmur of the water at night the song of the nightingale the fragrance of the jasmine i mean it would have been magical truly magical. So I hope we can yeah. restore it.